Hello everyone. Hello TikTokers, YouTubers, whoever watches this video. I'm your host RD Lyons and this is Saga New Media Presents. Something new. Uh, I, I probably, you're probably aware that I did release a book. It's the eighth book, the third of the five parts of the Shuriken series. And I don't know if you are, are really aware, but I am the original Black Ops on Terrors author. I coined boot back in 2004, which does stand for Black Ops on Terrors, right? So I even had a Hollywood agent. How about that? Anyhow, I'm not going to get into that because I, I have passed that already. So we're moving on here. But I just want to tell you, I'm really excited about my third book, Levels of Evil. Because Levels of Evil has, uh, folks, a huge plot twist in there. Okay, you think when you start reading that book, I mean, I know there's a lot of people that don't like to read books. But you know what? This, I really encourage you to read the book because it's got a huge plot twist. Not even halfway through, it does a big one fucking 180. And you are going to be blown away. Because the thing is that I don't know if you're aware of, you know, the conspiracy theories about reptilians and that they actually have run the planet before us, before we arrived in that. Well, there is, there is content in, in my levels of evil. And I actually explain it scientifically. Uh, according to, uh, it's not a spoiler alert or anything, but it goes really deep in the reptilian agenda. Let's just say that. In my book, it explains about the evidence that there were pre-human that were living in caves deep down in the, in the earth, under the ground, right? So, in Levels of Evil, you've got uh, duads, which are um, deep underground alien bases, okay? Need I say more? Um, people have actually read this book and they said, man, this should be a movie. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. It has all the right stuff, folks. It has all the right stuff. And you know what? If Hollywood gets a hold of the content, I'm sure that they're going to really think that um, maybe it, it would be uh, quite a high concept uh, screenplay. And, you know, I could write it too because I have written three scripts so far. Like full, like complete, right? And one of them was Sure King, right? And we did talk about that, that I did, uh, I did actually get a Hollywood movie agent, but they decided to double cross me and, uh, make a video game. Oh, well, that's the way things go. But you know what? Karma is a bitch and they can't escape karma and they did have to deal with that. So, anyhow, getting back to Hollywood. Um, it is really something with levels of evil. Because it is high concept. It is a thriller, but it's it's got the science fiction element in there as well, right? So it's not just, oh, and the cool thing about Levels of Evil is it's got, it doesn't just have AI in there, right? But it's got the highest tech that maybe will be developed in the next five to 10 years. I don't know if I'm tapping into the collective consciousness of the universe, but a lot of things that I have written about, they are actually coming true now. I just can't believe it, but it, it is fucking unbelievable, but it's, it is happening. I mean, there's places now, like I did write in my book, uh, my first book, Sure Kane, Super Ninja that they're um it, in 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 the in the book in the story 
there there were like electric like tracks under roads. And did you know that this is <laughs> this is actually happening through Elon Musk and and other you know developers uh high tech that they're doing this so that um you know cars electric cars don't uh run out of uh charge like electricity so it's amazing like with uh I don't know if you if any of you have read my Shurikane Super Ninja which is actually the first book and the second book is uh Shurikane uh 2 uh, the Shinobi Black Ops on the Black Dragon. Now that is a super spy thriller. But uh, getting back to um, the concepts, the high tech, um, a lot of that stuff is in uh, Levels of Evil. It's not just like, um, well, it's, it is it, it is uh, kind of like alien, like technology reverse kind of thing, right? I mean... Uh, that's, you know, that's all I'm going to say, but you know, that the, the, the plot twist here is there is actually terrorists, but are they human? That's, that's the big question. Are they human? Are they human? Did you look uh, did you see my cover of levels of evil? It, it, there's a, like a little caption there that I put there just to, just to provoke thought, right? They have always been here. Who is they? Well, I did give you a clue, didn't I? I gave you a clue. And you know what? In one of my chapters, I actually break it down scientifically that it definitely could be real. It could be true. And therefore, it's not science fiction. It's nonfiction, right? But you have to decide for yourself. But I'll tell you, ladies and gentlemen, there are a lot of things in the world today on earth that are happening that the governments are trying to cover up, but they can't. They absolutely can't. And did you know that there are documented facts that they, uh, back in the Cold War, when there was a lot of like... um. You know, like, uh, it was the nuclear arms race, right? And there was a lot of nuclear tests going on, right? And then all of a sudden, boom! Their whole silo gets shut down by an unknown source. And what happens? They see something in the sky. They try to, they try to follow it, but it's fast as fuck. It, it just takes off like lightning, more than lightning speed. It's just like a blink and they're gone, right? And, and, you know, and they sent, like, fighter jets after them, like, stealth jets and stuff. It doesn't matter. They can't catch them. The high tech is way, way, way beyond human capabilities, right? That's why you wonder why we're getting some of this high tech now. Well, I'll tell you right now. My suspicion is that a lot of this high tech is from alien crafts that have been captured or have been contained and they have reversed the technology right so that it so it, so that humans can use it like the governments can use it to their advantage right they can actually weaponize it right but you know what i'm going to leave a link to levels of evil oh and the cool thing guys I'll tell you, watch for all my books going to audiobook, okay? Because I understand that people are so fucking busy in their lives that they can't sit down and read a chapter. But you know what? They can listen to 10 chapters from an audiobook, can't they, right? So, yeah, it's it's amazing. What Look at Audible, Audible, the sales on Audible are going through the roof. The reason being is people are stopping buying, reading books. They're, they're rather listen to it, be read to them. Okay. So, okay. I, I, I've taken up enough of your time here and I'm just about out of time, but Hey, watch for my audiobooks coming and do subscribe to the